Hello and welcome back to another short episode of Kerbal Space Program with me, Matthias Weiss. Yeah, considering uh, the big ball of fire my lander and my Pollux spaceship turned into while aerobraking and on the descent to lathe, I considered building a heat shield. And this is my first attempt. I never have built a heat shield before, but with this new nice uh, panels it's quite possible to do that. And yeah, because we need... Uh, I have two of these holes here for the engines, so uh, I'm still able to steer this ship. But this will be uh, the Mark IV lander. I put it here into 100 km orbit around Kerbin just for demonstration. So, let's target the Kerbal Space Center. And land at target. Yeah, it's uh, the whole uh, lander is the same as before, but I just added the supporting structure and another decoupler for the uh, heat shield underneath it. So. Yeah, it is <laughs> looks uh, kind of funny, but it works. And uh, yeah, normally if uh, the two crafts are still docked and I'm doing arrow braking maneuvers, uh, here on this docking port will be the main spacecraft and the heat shield will is just there to absorb most of the incon incoming heat from uh, atmospheric friction. As we don't have real heat, just the effects right now, it's pretty useless, but I think I wanted to try it. And for a first attempt, I think it doesn't look too bad. Okay. Almost ready for descent. Just a little course correction. And yeah, this is just a short test video where I try to test this into uh, in the atmosphere of Kerbin, just to see if it works at all, and how it looks. Okay, we are on course for our landing, so we can switch off the landing autopilot and just point retrograde. And let's just accelerate until we hit the atmosphere. Okay, we are entering the atmosphere now. Well, let's go with physics warp a little bit faster. Until we come to a point where this thing really matters. Forty-nine, forty-eight. I think it. Uh, let's go back to normal time here. I hopefully, it uh, shows a nice effect. Actually, I like this design. It's it's very basic, and I could could make it oh bigger. Well, there it comes first flames. Of course, we have two holes here, so we have flames going inside as well. But yeah, there are no flames on these things. So oh, nice! This looks awesome. 
Yeah, it's protecting the craft from most of the heat, so it does what it should do. And it looks just amazing. Wow. It's glowing in there. Oh no. It's cooling down again. And once the flames are out, we will deploy our parachutes. Okay. Flames are gone, so parachutes out. And heat shield away. That worked very nice. That was pretty awesome. Coming down here. And the parachutes are still not fully deployed. So we are still waiting before we will fire up our secondary parachutes. The ma our main parachutes, as these are only the drogue chutes to slow the uh, slow the lander a little bit down. Uh, parachutes are deployed. Time for the main parachutes. I think that was our heat shield. So just accelerate a little bit here. Coming down really fast and hit land. And touchdown. Landing success successful. And yeah, as I told you, this was just a short presentation for what could be a heat shield in the future. My name is Matthias Weiss, thank you for watching.